What's up guys, Brendan Hancock here with another episode of Groove Subaru today. And today we're gonna to discuss everything you need to know about your 2017 Subaru Navigation. Now, to my left, I've got a 2017 Subaru Forester XT Touring with Option Package 33. So, this is going to be the fully loaded Subaru Forester. It's going to have everything, eyesight, reverse automatic braking, the bigger engine, uh, navigation, you name it. But the fact that we're using a Forester for this demonstration is not exactly relevant. Um, all 2017 Subarus currently, excluding, of course, the 2017 Impreza, are going to have the same 7-inch touchscreen Starlink infotainment system. So, everything that we say here today about this Forester will also be relevant for your cross track, um, your Outback, your Legacy, you name it. So let's go take a look inside, shall we? So we're inside the 2017 Subaru Forester uh, and we're going to take a look at the navigation here. So um, there's a couple ways to get here. Um, first thing, you will notice there's some icon buttons on the sides. Um, you can always just sort of shortcut here. Uh, by pushing that button on the side. That would be more useful if you're you know, in the infotainment system or something already, not necessarily on the home screen. Uh, but you can also just push the map button up here. Now, this is what your screen will look like from the factory once you've put your SD card in. So um, this is sort of the screen and how it looks. There's not tons of icons on the sides or anything like that. Um, you will notice a couple things. So starting up top here, uh, what we have here is this little compass. And what that's for is it's to uh, to give you a couple of different options on how you'd like to see the map as you're receiving your directions for your destination. So right now, the way that they have it set up is that it will always be facing north. So uh, we're facing north right now, so you'll see the little icon will show us facing north. Uh, but if we were facing the other direction, for example, it would show us facing down on the map. So if you had a destination, for example, over here, it would show your little guy kind of going down this way and to the left. Now. Personally, I like to always have it look like I'm going forward. So if you like that, if you're like me, you can always push this little compass up here and that will always make it look like you're, you know, if we're gonna take a, a right up here, it's gonna show us coming right at that uh, right at that turn onto, you know, South Broadway, for example. So personally, that's how I like to see the map. Uh, if you wanna ever change it back or just kind of fiddle around with it, you can always push that. I believe you have to push it twice, I'm not sure why. Uh, but that will give you a little bit more of the zoomed out version. You do also have your zoom in and zoom out uh, options over here it will kind of tell you you know how much one centimeter is in distance there so we're at two miles uh, we can always zoom in you know get the half mile view uh, half mile will be the sort of default setting so uh, but if we want to put a destination in we can always go over here, over here to menu and that's going to pull up this screen right here so uh, it gives you the option to go back to the map it'll also give you the option to mute the guidance uh, you know change the guidance voice and I can also show you how to mute that if you'd like as well uh, and we'll also give you the a couple other options besides just destination. So first I want to go into the change route. This would be things that we would, if we already had a destination put into the system. But uh, a couple things that we have here, uh, you can avoid, for example, certain streets under avoidances. It might be kind of dull for you to see there. Um, you can also get an overview up here, you can see, which is also sort of uh, you know blacked out because we don't have a destination in. Uh, that will sort of show us uh, on a zoomed out view what our, our route looks like in general. And then also a uh, cancel route option for us there as well to uh, if we decide we don't want to go after all to where we originally decided. So let's put uh, a destination uh, in here, for example. So we have a couple different options of how we'd like to look things up. 90% of the time, in my opinion, you're going to use find address. So you want to know the address of where you're going. Reason being is they give you, you know, the option to, for example, find places, you know, which is actually quite good for, you know, gas stations, parking, you know, generic chain restaurants, things of that nature. Uh, but if you're trying to go to someone's house, for example, something of that kind, uh, I don't typically recommend, you know, the custom search. It's not the most accurate, you know, in, in finding tons of stuff, you know, so it's not like Google Maps or anything like that. So that is my personal recommendation would be to use the find address nine times out of 10. Um, you do also have the option to find on map. So that would be nice for like if you're up in the mountains, maybe the road doesn't necessarily have a specific address or something like that, you know, maybe it's more coordinate oriented. Um, so that would be a nice uh, thing to use there. But like I said, 90% of the time, you're gonna use find address. You do also have the uh, more button there at the bottom. So just to kind of go back there under more. Uh, this gives you the option to actually put in coordinates. So uh, my hipster friend always likes to uh, send me coordinates of a place every time he gives me an address when I ask for it. So uh, it's nice because uh, with this car, you know, you can actually do that and it's not that difficult. So uh, he thinks he's joking me. I'm joking him. Ha ha ha. So, all right, cool. Let's go to uh, finding ourselves an address. So I'm going to put us to the used car dealership, Groove Used Cars. So also in Englewood. 
the street is also South Broadway because I just don't know how to get to the used car store. I just, I totally forgot. So South Broadway, Denver Metro, Englewood, perfect. And I believe it is 40... 651. There we go. Sorry, I almost panicked there. All right, perfect. 4651. So now that's going to bring up uh, the sort of pre screen, as I say, uh, before you hit go. So that's going to kind of zoom in on the location to show you, make sure you think you put the right place in, things of that nature. Um, you do have a more option here that you can do. You can add it to uh, your favorites. You can also set it to your home if you haven't done that yet. So just a few little uh, things you are able to do there. But let's hit go. It's going to bring us up to another screen here. Uh, and then we can also hit more again. And this allows us to uh, view possible route alternatives. Uh, we can also see our itinerary here and actually see all the turns and everything uh, one by one. So just a little bit more information there. Also the distance, estimated amount of time, uh, whether or not we're going the fastest route, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna hit go. Um, and then that's going to give us you know, our destination, uh, you know, our, our directions here. Now, there's a couple things you can do here as well. You are able to, uh, once you've put a destination in, for example, one, you can change the view and everything before you start moving. Um, so if you wanna change that, you are able to do so. Uh, but another thing that you can do is if you go to menu and you're curious about perhaps you know traffic, like how much traffic you may run into, um, you can always click uh, the little menu button in the corner and then this I button over here. So this will actually pull up uh, all of the things that may add additional time to your commute. So if there's accidents, if there's you know um, roadblocks or things of that nature, all of that will be uh, listed for you right here. Now we're literally going you know half a mile up the street, so there's obviously not much here, but um, it could say you know how much of a delay, maybe five minutes, ten minutes. Uh, there's an accident you know somewhere on the street. Um, so that is just nice information to have. Now. Let's say you do check that before you go. You now do have the option to go to change route avoidances and can actually avoid specific sections. So that's actually very nice to have that uh, sort of in conjunction there. Um, so one thing, so if we go back to the map here, we can always do that. Um, so the one question I do get uh, a decent amount of time about navigation is using voice activation to put an address in. Now you are able to do that. Um, and actually, I want to show, I'll show you how to do that, actually. So give me one second. So I'll cancel the route here. And you are able to do that. Now, the, the big hint here and in, in, in what you need to remember is the voice activation is very, very good. I mean, changing radio stations, changing, you know, presets, things of that, it's extremely responsive. But with voice activation, you don't need to yell, you don't need to overpronunciate, but you cannot take a breath and now we'll follow we'll go through here and we'll follow but the the tip is don't use the zip code and then just once you start the address just say it straight through uh, and don't take a breath so we we'll use a demonstration here for you so 45th 46 51 south broadway all right here we go how may i help you go to navigation going to navigation Please say a command. Destination. Please say a command. Address. Say an address. 4651 South Broadway, Englewood, Colorado. Select a line. One. Please use the touch screen to change the address or say go. Go. Say go. Go. Please say a command. Go. Cool. So because I didn't have the like the screen up there, I just had to hit that again there real quick. But it gave us everything that we know. Now, as you can remember, just as any other type of voice activation, you know, for example, climate or things of that nature, you just have to wait for the beep uh, and make sure you're you're doing what it's telling you to do. So patience there is the key with using voice activation. But the nice thing is you can do that while you're not driving, and you can also uh, you know keep your hands you know and stuff on the wheel. It's really really nice and easy and convenient 
once you do get the hang of it. So another cool thing real quick, and we're almost done here, um, that I do wanna share with you is I had a customer one time who wanted to see how they could have certain um, destinations as oh, maybe a waypoint or an endpoint, something like that. Maybe you need to go to a gas station on the way to something, or you need to stop off at your house before you go to another address. Um, the nice thing is you can do that. So what you do is you, you have an address you know already in there, an original destination, so to speak. You're then gonna go to menu, and then you're gonna to go to destination, just like you're just doing it all over again. So you're gonna go find address. Let's do Englewood. Let's just do this location. I, I don't think that would cause a problem. We should be okay. South Broadway. And then I'm gonna do another one here. 5300. Hit next. Hit next. So now, so I already had an address in there. I put a different address in there. Now it's gonna bring up this different screen. So it's gonna say, you know, do you wanna do this as a new route? You know, avoid the original route altogether. Do you want this to be a final destination? Somewhere you go after that original destination? Or do you wanna go here before you go to your original destination? So you can choose any one of those. If I hit final destination, for example, uh, and then hit go, this would then take us to the used car store and then take us right back. So that's sort of the yellow flag there. Oops, didn't mean to touch that. Hit that go back button. Uh, but the yellow flag there is sort of our, our waypoint, and then the end flag there uh, is our finish line. Now the other cool thing, speaking of that little finish line thing, something I really, really like about this uh, is the option to add what they call a progress bar. So let me go a little bit slower here. So um, I have my destinations and everything in there. I just hit the menu button over in the corner. So I'm gonna hit the more button, gonna go to settings, and then I'm gonna scroll down to the visual guidance. Now this allows you to have certain things you can add, you know, highway services, signposts, things of that nature. Um, that comes with most of it, but if you do wanna kinda of fill up the screen with some more information, you can do that. But route progress bar is one of my favorite things, and I just learned about it. Um, and what it is, is it's going to show you uh, how far along you are uh, to your final destination. So for example, it shows here in the bottom left corner, if you can see this, this is the progress bar. So it shows us our waypoint right here in the middle, the yellow flag, and then it shows us our finish line right there. Um, so if there was little bits of traffic or things like that, it would have these little red spots here where there's areas of congestion, but it's nice to know how far along you are uh, on, you know, in your route to, uh, to the end, especially on long trips. So that's really something that I like to have. And once you set it up, you don't need to constantly do it again. So. Um, hopefully guys, you guys have found this video uh, helpful for you. Um, since doing the Love Encore stuff, I've had a lot of questions you know, about the navigations where we spend a lot of our time and things. So um, if you guys do have questions, you know, hopefully this video has been helpful, whether it's an Outback, whether it's a Forester, Legacy, uh, it doesn't really matter, it's relevant to all of them. So uh, if you guys do have questions, you can always give Group Subaru a call, ask for me, uh, or one of our sales representatives would be glad to assist you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time on Group Subaru Today. Take care.